Packers. Now moving to DB. So it's going to be cornerbacks, probably throw some safeties in there. And uh, we're going to talk about whose stock went up post NFL combine, man. We have some speedsters, some guys doing some great things. Uh, Devin, man, what are your thoughts, man, on some of these DBs, this DB class coming in for the NFL draft this year? Yeah, so a DB class in general, I think, you know, you you look at, you know, kind of the, the top tops of the groups, uh, Terry and Arnold, Quinion Mitchell, um, you know, Nate Wiggins, and uh, they all went out and showed uh, exactly what you thought they were. You know, they uh, are really fast, really athletic players, and, um, you know, they match everything that, that they did on tape. Uh, unfortunately, Nate Wiggins uh, couldn't do the on-field stuff because, uh, obviously, you know, um, he pulled his uh, or he pulled something while he's running his 40, but he ran a 40. It might have been the hamstring, I thought. Thought I yeah. heard, yeah. So, uh, he, he pulled up when when he ran his 40, uh, which was unfortunate because we wanted to see just how smooth he was, uh, doing the on field things. But I don't think it's, it's gonna hurt him at all. But I think those guys obviously, uh, at the top of the class stood out. But you know, kind of just looking through the list and, and players that really made a name for themselves, I had to go Max Melton from. Uh, Rutgers, who, who had a really good week at the Senior Bowl uh, and then ran, you know, uh, really well uh, and tested really well um, here at the Combine. Uh, 4 3 9 40, uh, it, you know, his speed was was pretty apparent uh, even uh, at the Senior Bowl week um, in, in kind of his instincts and anticipation, ran, uh, you know, jumped a 40 and a half vertical, uh, had the highest broad jump at 11-4. Uh, so he's he's a guy that that came away, you know, you came away really, really impressed with what he did um, and, and just his change of direction ability. Uh, so he, he was obviously one of uh, my favorite standouts of the week um, and, and just what he did uh, at the combine, too. I'll go Kamari Lasseter as well from Georgia. I feel like, uh, you know, a Georgia player shouldn't really fly under the radar, uh, but I feel like he has a little bit. Um, and, and just what he did. He didn't run the 40, but uh, he has some really, really good change of direction times. Uh, had uh, the highest three cone, I believe, uh, of the week at 6.62 um, among DBs, just uh, two tenths of a second faster than the next person, uh, which shows you just how um, good his change of direction ability is. Um, and, and he just, for me, especially on the on field, I think he really, really stood out. Uh, just his ability to, to turn his hips, flip his hips. Uh, transition, uh, do some of the on-field drills, a W drill. Um, so I, it really, really impressed what he did. Um, and then a guy that, for me, that I'm leaving a week that I want to take a even or take a look at, specifically from a small school, uh, is Miles My, Harden from South Dakota. He has some really awesome testing numbers. Uh, ran a 398 20-yard um, shuttle, which uh, is pretty crazy. I think he might have been one of the only players – at the draft to have us, you know, under a sub four, uh, 20 yard shuttle. So that just shows you how good his change of direction ability is. Um, I just want to see if his tape matches that. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited to take, go take a look at him, uh, and see what he, uh, what he brings on tape as well. I love it. I love it. Two guys who stood out to me big time, man. He touched on one of them, Quinion Mitchell, man. Um, you know, oftentimes you see people, they have like, they have a good tape, decent stats, then they come to the combine, crush it, and then boom, stock goes up like crazy. And then they go to NFL, and we don't necessarily see that. You know, um, some people are just really good at working out, <laughs> you know, kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, and decent football players. But Quinya Mitchell, he's one of the safest picks. Man, one interception, 32 solo tackles, and 18, 18 pass deflections. And then, of course, he, he tested pretty great, too, um, over the weekend as well, man. So uh, that guy I am such a fan of. And then, of course, I got a shout to the Wolverine himself, uh, Mike San, uh, Sandra still. I want to make sure I do him justice on his name. But six interceptions, six pass deflections, two forced fumbles, 26 solo tackles. So a guy was constantly making, like, big-time plays and stuff, man. Very exciting. Um, he, he tested really well. Loved his 40 time. I think he was a 4-3 guy, I think it was. Uh, Mike Sanders, uh, he might have been. Let me check real quick. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, just to add in on on Sanders, he was he was four four seven, but just still good for him. Okay. Um, sure. But uh, to add on Sanders, so he's a, he had a really good podium uh, as well at the combine. Uh, really cerebral player, um, understands you know what he does well, uh, you know things he may not do well, and, and he told me uh, or told the reporters, uh, including me at the uh, at his podium that. Uh, you know, to improve this past season, 
uh, he reached out to Bengals uh, defensive back and nickel, uh, Mike Hilton. And uh, mm. he DM'd on Instagram just to get some tips on uh, how to play nickel, uh, you know, how to play uh, defensive back, uh, and just to improve his game. So I thought that was really cool that uh, he reached out to an NFL player and, and he got a response. Uh, even as a guy that, you know, he may not have any Michigan connections uh, to the Michigan program, but he still wanted to get better. Yeah, I love that. I love that, man. It's, it's time, so many times people are just kind of prideful and, you know, you know, the growing pains of the first year in the NFL would be kind of rough for some of these guys. That's, that's the fact. But um, but the more you're willing and open to get better every single day and, you know, money does not uh, impact your uh, work ethic. You know, you're gonna, we're going to see great results more times than not, man. So that's like Mike, man. He's, he's going to crush it for sure. Well, awesome, awesome, man. Well, Devin, man, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, go down below and go ahead and go to the description of this video. And you have all of his stuff there. When it comes to Devin, man, he's he's like my number one source of getting information, man. He is on the on the on the on the ground with the troops. He goes to these different bowl games. He's at the combine. Uh, and, and literally one of the nicest guys, not most nicest, most knowledgeable guy you'll ever meet, man, especially when it comes to football, man. So give him a follow on Twitter and all social media platforms. And, uh, we'll see you guys next time on the Touchdown with Doug Smith. Hey, thank you for watching another episode of the Touchdown with Doug Smith, where we have exclusive NFL content and exclusive NFL interviews. Be sure to hit that like and that subscribe button. Follow us on social media. See you on the next one.